That's the one on the one side. Karen, you're missing it. Nina and Karen went for a walk in this. I'm glad I didn't. Summertime in Scotland. Well, Karen and I would have loved to have shown you these gardens at Rothsay. But like a lot of places at this time, uh, they're just closed. So um, all we can see is these few cactuses and that's about it really. It's just, that's life at the moment, isn't it Karen? We can't see beauty at its best. That's the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, we just have to deal with it like everything else. Yep. Oh, at least the walk back from the gardens is rather pretty. Um, but apparently the gardens are only open in the morning, so just uh, note to self. <laughs> but it's beautiful, isn't it? Well, this is the um, Victorian toilets and from the outside they don't look anything much but you just look at all this beautiful um, uh, pottery and tiling and look at that floor with um, its decor and stuff and then all the tiling here but I'm afraid to say the piece de resistance is, look at this, I have to be truthful, that urinal is, um, reminds me of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, obviously in there it was sinks, but you can see where they've got the idea, but just look at this beautiful, um, ceramics um, and this is from 1890 anyway somebody uh, wants to come in so that means I've got to go as you might know Beverly and I are uh, aiming to do our yacht master and um, as one of the tasks that you have to be able to do is go in and out of marinas now, luckily I've got an incredibly calm day uh, to leave, but I've got a very, very tight marina um, and Salty Lass is not quite as good going backwards. Uh, so um, I'm going to be uh, turning the rope boat slightly on rope so that she's pointing more towards going out. But my f stomach is in complete knots. Um, absolutely scared but a challenge is not a challenge unless you've got to overcome some kind of issue even if it is just you being scared as anything because ah! I'm a scared girl
Oh, it's just looking so beautiful. So what do you think, Karen? Mm, it is lovely. Really nice day, sunny. We've got lovely clouds in the sky. A few black ones over there. Yeah, and the gust is just coming, I can yeah. feel it. <laughs> I think you need to get your derriere over here to balance the nose. All right. <laughs> Anyway, we're going through the Burnt Islands, um, which is at the top of um, the Kyles of Butte, um, and we're going to go and find an anchorage on the other side. But as you can see here, we've got the greens on our port side, but that's because at this particular place, the direction of voyage is reversed because you can go either way on this. So. Um, as I say, we have the green on the port side. Just behind them, um, you can see one of the many anchorages around here. Um, and obviously you could say maybe explore these islands, but I can tell you now, it won't take you that long to explore them. <laughs> yeah, but this is the passage we're going through. Well, this is zero. this is why we're on a motor for this bit, Karen. Because okay. it's just a little bit. Because look how close you are. That's the one on the one side. Far apart, you're the boys, Karen. Okay, the Karen, you're missing it. I want to take a bloody picture of <laughs> And that's the other. That's the other burnt island. Oh, Daisy, you've not got much space. We're here on the west um, Kyles of Butte and I have to say the place is absolutely lovely. We've taken a mooring but um, we phoned up the person who owns the mooring and they're letting us have it for free. So um, there are deals to be had, obviously anchoring is free as well um, and uh, just to give you an idea um, Rosse, which was the um, marina we were in, that cost £24 a night for our sized boat. So, uh, but realistically, we did need the marina because uh, we had Storm Ellen. It didn't quite get up to Rosse, but there was lots of edges of it. Um, so it was better to be in a marina. So if you are... Uh, cruising like this you need to have um, you need to have that mixture um, of knowing that you're gonna have to be times when you are in a marina um, there's no high winds um, scheduled for tonight it's all, um, mirror, very calm Karen I think it'll be what's commonly known as a motor Well, it's a wet, windless morning. Nice, but wet and windless. So I think, to be honest, it's a it's a bit of a coffee break at this stage. I have my coffee. <laughs> are, we, are we here at the moment? Uh, no, Karen, we're on the opposite side. Oh, right. Oh, right. You could have... Okay, no balls in front of us. Okay, Bev, so where are we uh, just leaving now? Tingleybrook. And... Um, we are on our way to train because Karen's holiday has come to an end. So we've got to get her to train so she can catch the, catch the train back to glorious sunny Liverpool. Um, yesterday was a glorious sunny day here, but today is not one of those days. So we're just having to take what we get. It's going to be a slow motor by the look of it. If we're lucky, we'll get some wind in the afternoon, but sailboats and schedules don't really mix. We have somewhere to be later today, so we need to get a move on and get there. Yeah. That means the engine. Sorry, folks. Uh, so, um, what what about our sail yesterday? Because we did do a sail yesterday, didn't we? We did a cracking sail yesterday. The wind was very, very gusty. You could see it coming in gusts. As on the, you'd get a gust, then there'd be an absolute lull in the wind, then there'd be another gust, then there'd be another lull. 
and it kept changing as it came down the hill so the direction changed and we had to tack our way all up and down the East Cow. But yeah, do you know what? It wasn't a bad day. We enjoyed ourselves. We had a good time. We were letting the seals in and out. We were trimming like crazy. But we made it up the Kyle. And we just dumped the seals when the wind finally died just before the ferry. So we put the engine on and just roared through at the ferry. And what else could we do? There's no well, wind. We, we had to go through our engine between, um, through the burn aisles or anyway, didn't we? It was a good idea. There wasn't a lot of room for tacking or manoeuvring between those boys. They're only about a ship, about one boat length apart. Yeah. I mean, I, I nearly scraped the paint off going through those two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, I think we nearly left a coat of gel coat on the boys, but we didn't, so there we yeah. go. And I did the early part because I took us out of the marina, didn't you? You took us out of the marina, and that was great fun because there was gusts of wind coming through, but it's such a tiny marina. And but how did that go? You did very well. I don't think you had anything to worry about. We have, but basically, we had an 11 and a half metre boat in a berth made for an 8 metre boat. And but I did it, and that's. And we thought we had loads of room when the boat's next to us make hit at the slip and we were thought, oh look we can we can bring the boat round on ropes and do all sorts of things. Then another boat came and parked itself right beside us and that was the end of that plan. So yeah. we just had to do it the old fashioned hard way. I know, so I just need to improve my getting on the power. You need to improve your belief that you can give it full reverse power and not smack the boat behind you. <laughs> so a bit more belief on my part, but uh, otherwise... As, as Harry said when he was aboard uh, last week or the week before, it goes backwards, you're going to hit the boat. It goes backwards, you're going to hit that boat behind you. You're going to hit that boat behind you. You're going to hit that boat behind you. My God, it's moved. How did we miss that boat? <laughs> and that's just the way it goes. She, she, she'll she, do her movement and then she'll turn. But you've just got to believe that she will actually turn. If you don't believe she'll turn, you'll just keep going backwards straight. You'll panic. You'll put it into forward. You'll go forward straight. Then you'll put it in reverse. You'll go backwards straight. And you'll never leave the place. You've just got to believe the boat will turn. Yeah, as long as you've got plenty of rudder and authority. As long as you've got plenty so, of rudder authority. Anyway, we're still um, in one of the Kyles, and uh, like I say, we're off the journey today. We are, so I'm going to turn the revs up, which means it's going to get noisy, so um, here's your microphone back. Okay, thank you. Nothing exciting is happening here today. I don't know, the, the, the scenery is lovely and you know you've got the darkness over there because it's dark, the clouds, and you've got the beautiful shades of green, it's really pretty. Yeah. You've got an island over there, oh Aaron is it over there? That's Aaron Karen. And what was the island we passed? We've uh, got Butte on one side and we've got Inchmarnock on the other. Yeah, and we're travelling down to Troon. I know. True. Been there a few times now. He's got his bow fender around. Hello. Hiya. The Glen Shield. 24 metres by 7. So Karen, you've been on Salty Lass for just over a week. What did you think of this? I've had a great time. Uh, we had a bit of, we had to stay in port a few days because, um, Oh, can I, is it Ro Ro? Where was it? It was Storm Ellen. Yes, and what was the port? We were was at Rothsay. Rothsay. And we had a chance to look around Rothsay, and Gabriel and I went for a walk, which was nice, and the weather was lovely, and we actually got our costumes on. We did paddle up to our knees. We weren't brave enough to do the big dive in, but I regret we didn't do it, but I'm, well, <laughs> we just didn't. <laughs> I think we're brave enough to just get the costumes on. <laughs> and then, um, as I say, we went down the Kyle um, to a place called Ken's, was it? It was just north of Ken's. Yeah, we didn't get off the boat, which I didn't want to, because it was just picturesque and so beautiful. And next day, when we woke up, it was just like, like it is today, you know, no wind, and it was just like a mirror. And it, yeah, excellent. And then we had a lovely sail back where we seen the Waverley uh, up mm. to here, Troon, and we seen, um, Two other boats, I can't remember the names, but I remember watching them on television um, with, um, oh God, 
again, can't remember her. Then she and Glenn a tree. Yeah, yeah, so there was like a, a programme. Um, oh, what's the Scottish lady who does the cruise film things? No idea. No. no idea. I'm hopeless. Being dyslexic, it just goes in and goes out. So that was lovely. And as I say, we just had a nice shower. And I'm off this morning and leaving the girls to uh, face the North Channel, um, which, because I'm based in Liverpool, I can get straight down from Troon to Liverpool. And I don't particularly want to do the North Channel, to be honest. I've done loads of it in my 30s. And no, I like the island hopping, but I've had a great time. That's all, yeah. You, then.